Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Nash Fitness and Neuro Nash here, and another um, episode of Andy's Automotive. Uh, no copyright infringement if anybody already has that name. Anyway, so we're talking about a 2007 Mazda 3. Ta da! And you got the 2.0 in here, so apparently there's a lot of issues with these cars having a uh, you know, surging issue or running rough and things like that, um, especially after AC work is done and or the battery connect, uh, you know, is disconnected because you're supposed to disconnect the battery before you do any crazy things, um, especially because if you do the condenser, chances are you might take off the uh, airbag sensor. Um, if y'all saw that, how quickly I did that. It's not in here. Anyway. Uh, you don't want to deploy any airbags or any kind of weird things like that, so disconnect the battery. Um, you know, positive and negative, starting with the negative. Um, so, yeah, so I did a little research on all data, my favorite online, um, you know, manual, of course. And one of the uh, service bulletins was to, you know, clean the throttle body because chances are it's dirty and it's causing the automatic, you know, actuator because it's electric, you know, and like the cables that it's getting stuck, even though it can happen. So you see here, your throttle body's really not that dirty in here. Or is it? Dun dun dun. So let's have a look at the back. Ooh, look at that. That's a little nasty, ain't it? You folks see that? That is nasty. So, what we're gonna do is clean it with my favorite cleaner, B12 Chem Tool. I love this stuff. It's pretty cheap. Uh, it's a carburetor choking throttle body cleaner. It's the best one I've ever used. And I've used a lot of them, even the Valvoline and all those other ones. Um, this is a little cheaper, I believe, and it's in a 20 ounce can from uh, Berryman. Uh, I know they got a can of like parts cleaner stuff, so it deposit, de 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 dissolves deposits fast. Anyway, so let's get to right to it. Um, so as you see here, there is an O-ring that you can pull out. I might have to get pliers, maybe I can get it by fingers. Stand by, there it is. Yeah, so despite what anybody says, replace this i don't care if you did it 30 minutes ago once you tighten this thing down that's your call if you want to reuse the same one if you did it 30 minutes ago for some reason you got to take it back apart um but chances are it's smushed i don't know if you can see focus camera yeah you can see that this one has definitely had its time and great dropped it anyway we got a brand new one part number 61413 for the uh 2.3 or 2.0 um, deal overhead. Most of them have the same throttle body. Anyway, so we got a brand new gasket. So what we're going to do, we're going to clean this baby up. And she is ugly. So before I get off with you guys, uh, look, and you can, if you can see how dirty the intake is. Also, watch this. Look at that. That's just crud. Right? So we're going to wipe all that out as well. Um, you know, you don't really want to spray a whole bunch in there. Because it's your intake manifold, you'll choke out your throttle body. Chances are you could foul some spark plugs. You don't really want to do that. Um, what we are going to do, I'm just going to show you how good this B12 works. You always want to wear your safety glasses. I just dropped mine. I'm having a clumsy day today, man. Yeah, so look at all this just nastiness coming out of the intake there. I might even use a light brass brush. You know, look at that. That's just, that's coming off the throttle body. This is crazy. Just to show you guys how clean this thing should be. <sighs> We're getting to, you know, normally I have the straw in there, but I don't want it to shoot me in the face. Anyway, so as you can see, now, come on camera. It's so awkward. Oh, this is ridiculous. Can you guys see what I'm looking at here? Anyway, down here is the base where I just clean. Let's try this. There you go. See how that's a lot cleaner there? You know, than what it was. You can see easily where I sprayed. I'm upside down. It's killing me. Where I sprayed. Anyway, um, I'll do a, another connection to this video after I get done cleaning this baby. And so anyway, so you remove the upper air intake box. Everything's still connected to this. My air flow sensor's still on there. Um, you know, your uh, quick disconnect on your valve uh, breather there. Um, I already cleaned the mass air flow sensor before I got this car back. You know, they said it was having this running rough issue. 
um, and it actually made no difference with the mass airflow cleaning. You can do that if you want. The mass airflow cleaner is only like $7.99 in a silver can. You can probably use it 15, 20 times before you run out. Um, so anyway, I took out the base of the box too. It's here. This is the bottom. It just pops off. It's got four clips on it that connect to the top of the air box. Um, anyway, just connect positive and negative battery cables, starting with your negative. When you're going back on, you put the positive first, then the negative. So the key to this whole thing is once you clean the throttle body, everything's real nice. When you start the car, let it run for about 20 minutes is what another professional said um, on another video, actually. Um, just doing a little recon before I got started with this one. And he said, let it run for about 20 minutes, idling, don't do anything. You know, make sure all the accessories and everything are off. What the car is going to do is the computer is going to relearn the computer... Um, is going to relearn the sensors such as the throttle position sensor, you know, any other sensors it has to do a test on um, Just see, make sure everything's signaling back like it's supposed to because if you don't do that, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna drive. You're gonna come to a slow stop or a heavy stop and guess what? It's gonna go <laughs> It's gonna die. It could possibly, you know, cut all the way off on you, which is not a good thing. It's very dangerous also um, But after you let it run for 20 minutes idling with no accessories on he said, come back and turn the AC and, you know, whatever else you want. You can turn headlights or something on if you want. Kind of load it down, the electrical system. Uh, primarily the AC, just so it can relearn where the idle's supposed to be with the air conditioning on. Um, and that is where the issue mainly occurs is when you're cycling off and on the AC. The computer takes the load. It's like, oh, my God, what's happening? And then it tries to die when you come to a stop. Um, you know. So basically that's what's going to happen. I'm going to do another video after I upload this one of how clean this throttle body is. And the result after the fact, but chances are it's going to work for you. Um, you know, if you haven't had a tune-up, do it. Uh, make sure you use the right spark plugs. Don't cheap out. Don't use, um, this is a Mazda, so it should be NGK or Denso. Don't use a Motocraft or a Champion spark plug in this car. That would be a very silly thing to do. Um, you know, make sure you got your oil changed, all the good stuff, all the maintenance. If your battery is low on power, you could be having this issue also. But I know this car supposedly was not doing that before the AC work was done. You know, put a new compressor on it and all that. That compressor actually had a malfunction. Put a new compressor on right now. Everything's about ready to go. I'm going to clean this throttle body. It's super gunked up. So chances are this is going to be part of the throttle problem. But we're going to do the battery relearn anyway, which is where you let it idle for 20 minutes. Come back 20 minutes later uh, while it's still idling. Turn the AC on. And let it idle for about 15 more minutes. Then turn it off. Turn it back on. To the key to on position. I'm sorry. Turn the key to on position. Let the engine light blink and then go off. Then start the car. And then take your test drive and hopefully everything's good. It should be. Um, if not, you could possibly have, you know, a, another issue, but I doubt it. Uh, the reason you want to always replace the throttle body gasket is because guess what? If you do all this work and you don't buy this $2.50 gasket and put it back on here, then guess what? If this leaks air, you could have the same problem. And then it's going to trigger a mass airflow problem saying that it's got too much air, you know, coming in behind the mass airflow sensor. So, do it right the first time. Peace.